head to talk a little bit more loosely about the idea of innovation um, and hopefully close off with um, by no means a solution, but uh, to provide some food for thought of online communities as a tool and hope through the conversations going forward. Um, so I'm Len, I'm the online communities advisor at Historic England, and I'm also supporting online communities to support their professionals and from a bigger perspective, enable that knowledge transfer, uh, knowledge sharing, and peer to peer connections, and in particular, supporting innovation at both grassroots and an organisational scale. Um, so online communities are versatile digital spaces where professionals can connect and share knowledge. They're not a new thing by any means. Um, I'm sure many of you are members of either the PR forum or Badger to be interested to um, and they're hopefully an intuitive part of how you connect with others at your shared practice. Um, I'd like to pull from an online community practice as a, a general definition of what I'm counting as an online community. Um, so that use of asynchronous peer to peer messaging technology. So those website forums, the email discussion lists, and instant messaging. So to overcome that barrier of distance and having to be online at a fixed time is an easy thing to do. Um, it's also about having a membership list, so being able to access those who are a member of the community um, and build that sense of community, trust, reputation, and therefore assist in knowledge sharing. Um, any member can initiate and message all other members in a community, um, and I think this one is particularly key to innovation because it means that all messages previous to the community are available to new members and therefore has a long-term record of the things that can be discussed and developed over time. So more particularly for our building innovation, um, you might be an online community user but you've never thought of how we can more intentionally use these spaces and to drive change. But you might be fully aware of the influence and looking for a new space to explore your ideas. Um, online communities actually provide that space to find out about new innovations. So outside of the boardroom, outside of organisational comms, online communities are that accessible sounding board for people to ask advice, present their ideas, or ask questions about what's going on. When there's the sort of Friday question on HDR forum into wider action and how has that community benefited to the day to day work of its members through the change that it's created. Um, I'll reach a bit more into the hypothetical here um, and suggest that your cycle of online community um, support starts with that written query where an individual identifies a gap or an issue, the wider discussion ensues, and then a level of consensus might appear between members towards a further change. Um, strength in numbers is in the position to test this change and advocate for professional bodies. The details of the scenario what actually comes out of this. Um, but the ideas of best practice, feedback, and peer to peer support hopefully ring through um, into a cycle of how these spaces can actually help innovate. Um, alternatively, online communities play a role in embedding best practice for new innovations, um, traveling to that place that we talked about where they're not innovative anymore but actually useful. Um, so, sharing case studies, practice, uh, best guidance. Um, I've heard for a sharing experience this morning, and I think these provide a space to do that. And I'd probably also add them to Clarence's list of uh, training opportunities. Part of that learning user journey. Um, so I do own a few slides, um, but uh, Jen and I have set up a new space on the Knowledge Hub platform that some of you may be familiar with um, for a discussion of standards and guidance. Um, I've provided the link here um, as well as a QR code, so the link will take you to the group and the QR code will take you to sign up for the platform. Um, but the community intends 